The Arizona Cardinals, uh, as we said, they are on the clock right at three minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, we talked about, uh, would you, I, I mean, the, the cornerback situation there, you know, depending on which way they might go, uh, we, you know, quarterback, clearly that's been wiped out right. for what we think. You know, unless they take it, unless they shock us and take uh, uh, Kaiser or Peterman or one of those guys, you know, they might just say, you know what, we we believe in one of those guys more. But you know, the you the, wide, the wide receiver group, uh, at least the first round ones that we have, are wiped out. the The safeties are left. Hooker's still left, but more free than strong. Uh, is Allen Howard Hooker Barnett? Yeah, how can they? You know, Dane, you're right about the shoulders. You're yeah. right about the shoulders and Allen. That has to be the case. There might be a team that's okay with it. Um, you know, the Redskins sitting there at 17. They might be okay with it. You never know. It just it's from team to team. Uh, Arizona lost a pretty damn good safety in Tony Jefferson they over the spring. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Maybe maybe they try to replace that. With Swearinger too is also gone from yeah. him as yeah. well. So, you know, that's addition by subtraction. Yeah, that Bethard and Branch. <laughs> but, I mean, they've got guys that. But they do they have enough? It looks like the the the, the clock has stopped, and let's see. You know, Arizona, you know, the Arizona, one of those teams that's uh, always uh, seems so it's speed. You know, Arizona to me, when you look at their defense, and it's a team that the Cowboys have to play next year, and you'll see them actually in the Hall of Fame game, and then you'll see them uh, uh, during the season. But uh, when you think about the Cardinals, you always think about speed, and you always think about speed on defense. You know, and that's yeah. something uh, with the you know with the corner wiped out. I mean, they've always I, watching their tape. They always got guys that can run. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they've got those guys. Well, that's and a big time pre draft favor to the Cardinals was John Ross because of how right. fast he is. Right. Which and so not only did you lose your most you know prized quarterbacks, but the receiver they might have liked the most is off the board too. Now, I'm really interested in this pick because this is a team with a small window here. Yeah. I mean, who's going to help them win right now? I mean, I think that's what they have to look at. I mean, you don't want to necessarily look at that for your first round pick. I mean, you want the best player for the next five years, but at the same time. Okay, well, who is that player then? Who is that player, Dane? Of, could it be of the, of the guys? Yeah. Could it be one of the line, a linebacker? Could it be. You know, Malik Hooker. Uh, you know, there's there's plenty of talent here. You talked about Foster. I mean, do you get right. your first round grade on Reddick? Yeah, absolutely. I think Reddick. Forgot about him. Yeah. In my five bold predictions, whatever I said, Reddick would be the first linebacker drafted. I think that he'd be a he'd be a great pick here. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. I always think of, I always think of Arizona. I think of speed. Yeah. I think of a defense that can run. Yeah. On Reddick, you know, yeah, best. Yeah. See, in Reddick, I. I I just was looking at my board here, and I'm thinking, well, who on that board can run? Now, Foster makes sense. Foster makes sense because we talk about the inside linebacker. But, you know, Reddick, what, what does well, he do? Reddick can do, play any position. I yeah. Mean, any linebacker position you want. You, you can know, rush right. him, too. This is, this is the place for him, too. In ter just like I talk about, like, oh, I don't trust You forgot guy. about him? Reddick? Yeah. I mean, in, not in the grand scheme of things, but I just, I haven't. It's the first time we've said that name tonight, basically, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just was thinking of speed. But I, I'm just thinking, you know, we I always talk about, you know, the Cowboys, uh, they're not creative enough to use these type of, like, hybrid players. Well, the, the Cardinals fi figured out how to use Tyron Matthew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would be fascinated to see what they could do with a guy like this who can kind of be a jack of all trades. Yeah, they, they are uh, – Steve Kime, their GM, and they're showing their war room right now. And I have a lot of respect for Steve Kime. And I'll, I'll tell you, I have a lot of respect for their head coach. I think their head coach takes their players and I think does a really good job with those guys. I, I think you'll see a pretty impressive team when we uh, we venture to the desert this year. I think you – hey, don't forget the Hall of Fame game. Yeah, absolutely. I think you need to get a Kangol hat like Bruce Arians. Yeah. Get the, Bruce, I, I – Get the BB. Bruce is way too cool for me. No, dude. No, no, in a good way. I don't mean that. I mean that in a positive way. I don't mean that – You could pull off the Kangol. Yeah. It's all about he's, knowing you can. He's, he's really, really good. Okay. So, you know, we, we think that they could go several different ways here. We like the fact that they maybe could go Foster, Reddick, uh, those kinds of guys. Allen is still on the board. We talked about him. Hooker's still on the board uh, right there. Barnett's still on the board. Let's go to the Picks podium, and the commissioner will tell us. Team pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select 
Hassan Reddick. There you go. Love it. One of my favorite players in this draft. Yeah. As they, as they say, man, you watch him on tape. Heck, that guy's a blur. Seriously. They, they got that. He's got that burgundy and maroon, whatever it is he's wearing for Temple. And you watch him run from the backside, and he is smoking. Mm-hmm. So, once again, here are the, here are the, uh, here are the Arizona Cardinals adding a, a piece to their defense. Didn't help, uh, didn't help the quarterback that's old. Didn't help the receiver that's Damn, old. It helps that defense, though. But it helps that defense. It does. It and sure does help that defense. Look, so. Hassan Reddick can play inside, can play outside. He can cover. He can blitz. He can play sideline to sideline. Uh, it's pretty – I mean, it's easier to talk about what he can't do. Um, and, you know, I, on the football field, there's just not a lot of things he can't do. Uh, it's really impressive player. And, hey, this is uh, – it's a great story. It, he wasn't even listed on the scouting sheets going into this year. I mean, he wasn't on the yeah. radar. Had the great senior year, goes to the senior bowl, proves that he can stand up and play an off-ball linebacker position, cover running backs out of the backfield, cover the tight end. And then at the combine, continues that momentum with great testing numbers. Uh, He's had such a a great ascension. I I really fell in love with this kid when I started watching him in the fall. Uh, One of my favorite players this year. It's a home run pick for the Cardinals. Yeah, he's. uh, I I do. I like the pick, too. I'm a big fan. I understand Foster in that situation. I mean, I could see why teams maybe uh, are, are, are turning away from him. But uh, Reddick, you know, if you're looking for a linebacker, that, that to me, he, this guy never comes off the field. I mean, he is he is one of those guys that, you know, it, it, you, you say, go get the ball, he is going to get the football. What would you have done with him here? And we've talked about this before, but I just want to rehash it. I think I think that he would have. I definitely would have tried to play him. And I, I had him as listed as an outside linebacker. He would have been your Sam, and yeah. you wouldn't have taken him off the field. Yeah, and you wouldn't have taken him off the field. You just rushed him. You'd have put him his hand down in nickel and let him rush. How weird would that be to see a team that uses three linebackers in nickel on a regular basis? You don't see that that often no, these days. No, you really, really don't. Yeah. But he 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 is he is. He is super, super, super in, impressive, and uh, I, you know, I, I hey, also a great character guy. Yeah, uh, I mean, just flawless off the field. Uh, I mean, he did have one incident, but uh, he was acquitted. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but everything you hear from the coaches, uh, from people around him, is how great of a guy he is. He's just relentless. And remember, he's just a former walk on. Yeah, I mean, this is a guy who is self made. I mean, he went to Temple, and you know, he he wasn't that five star guy who was handed everything. He worked his way up from a walk on defensive back turn himself into a pretty good edge rusher. Now he's going to be, and now he is a top 13 pick in the NFL, right. going to an organization that's going to be fighting for the playoffs this year. Yeah, absolutely. So Hassan Reddick. Uh, and is, that's going back to the point we made about the Panthers. Same thing works for them. The Cardinals are probably picking higher than they should be based on their roster. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, this can only help them. Okay, the Philadelphia Eagles. 